Known for its famous gateway arch, St. Louis is a popular city to visit. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to St. Louis. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. April, May and September are the best times to visit St. Louis because the weather is pleasant and crowds are low. The city experiences long, hot summers and awfully cold winters, so avoid visiting in July, August, January or February. December through to March can see some snow, making it a challenge to get around and see the sights. So now let's look at getting there. The International Airport at St. Louis offers direct flights to most major US cities, with many flights taking under three hours. The airport is just 13 miles from downtown, meaning you can take the Metrolink lights to the downtown area. Amtrak is a great option for those traveling the USA via train, with multiple trains running daily through St. Louis each day, whilst driving is another popular option, with many choosing to stop here during a Route 66 road trip. So now let's look at getting around. There are two easy travel options for getting around St. Louis. Firstly, renting a car and driving around the city isn't the cheapest option, but it is one of the easiest. Some sites, such as the Magic House and Grant's Farm, are further afield, meaning you will need a car to get to the attractions. You could also opt for the light rail system in the city, with two lines offering connections to the major sites around the downtown area. So now let's look at the typical prices. Finding budget accommodation can be a challenge here, but there are plenty of two to three star chain hotels with prices starting around $80. Mid-range hotels begin at $120, whilst five stars like the Four Seasons will cost upwards of $300. There are plenty of cheap eats around the city to choose from, with breakfast and lunch starting at $5 and sit-down dinners beginning at $15 per person. As with most US cities, a trip here isn't cheap, but of course there are ways to save some money. Domestic flights here are much cheaper on Tuesdays and Wednesdays compared to Thursdays and Fridays, as this city is often visited on a weekend. You could also save money on accommodation by staying at an Airbnb or bed and breakfast rather than staying in a hotel, but either way, book ahead and visit in the winter for even cheaper rates. You can use ride sharing apps here, but try to stick to the public transport as much as you can to save some money. There are also plenty of free attractions, including the St. Louis Zoo and the Art Museum. So now let's look at the best things to do. The first thing you must do while you are in the city is to see the Gateway Arch and take the ride to the top of the stainless steel monument that is 630 feet above ground. With baseball and ice hockey, there are plenty of games for you to catch when you're in the city, and families can enjoy a day at Six Flags as well. Enjoy a night out at the Ballpark Village or Westport Plaza, and families should head to the aquarium and zoo before visiting the quirky Magic House. Watch this video to find out the best things to see and do in America, and then to learn some ways to save money on your trip, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.